Hello friends and happy 4th of July. We're going to start our day turning out the lights so it's not so orange. Much better. Actually, can you open up the blinds over there? And that will help me get a little bit better light. Um, but we are going to start off our day making some corn dogs. Now, I have to tell you, Jason and I kind of went on a secret mission this morning. It is already 12.30, but you're gonna have to wait because I don't know if that secret mission is gonna come to fruition. So you'll have to stay tuned probably for a really long time if we actually make it happen. We have a little secret that we've been starting to work on. So in the meantime, we are going to make corn dogs for the 4th of July. We're gonna go out to our friend's house and have a barbecue in like an hour and a half. So I kinda gotta hurry and have a barbecue and play at the lake if it's warm. I think we'll just probably play like lawn, lawn games and talk as adults because I don't think it's gonna get warm enough. It will. It will for the kids. Are you gonna get in the lake, Ash? That's what we did last year, right? And then we will walk, and, well, then we'll go over to the little town that they live in and they'll do the fireworks from a field, I think. I don't really know where it's gonna be shot from, but my friend's um, neighborhood used to do the fireworks at the lake that we went to last year, and they're not doing it this year. I don't think it's like a permanent thing. They're just not doing it this year. Maybe COVID, I don't know. But um, no, because that would have been the case last year. So I don't know why, but they're not doing it this year, so we'll just drive down to where we can watch fireworks tonight and do that, and I think Kaylee and Jacob are coming. So we are gonna hurry and make these corn dogs to share. We all already made jello. I needed to wait make the jello without she's grumpy. I had to make it because you didn't wake up in time. I needed it set up before we go. So I've made jello and I think I'm going to take, I don't have any more chips. Here's the interesting thing with going to Costco on a regular basis is that you run out of food on a regular basis. So this is the only chip that I have to share. I've completely run out of any other kind of chip. I ran out of milk. We had to go to milk, get milk from the regular grocery store today because I'm completely out. That's how routine we are, but, but Costco is closed today. So we're gonna start making corn dogs. I've gotta make the mix and then I'm gonna, where's that little pancake thing, Ashley? Oh, I like yeah. the pancake. Yeah, can you, because it'll be a good place to put the batter. So I'm gonna make the batter in the bowl and then I'm gonna put it into here and then you can dip the dogs down into here easier than you can in a bowl. You wanna show me something? Oh, she's been drawing a ton these days, you guys. That is so cool. These are like lights and cities and- I bet It's like the like thing, I don't know. Yeah, the, the power lines. Get Very cool. The summer, she's probably about gonna have She'll like have that whole book filled up. She's gonna have like 200 drawings already in the book. Yeah. Okay, we've got our batter done. Dad just came home with skewer sticks, so we had to go get some. And then um, we're gonna put the batter in here, right? It. It's not gonna come out unless I pull the trigger. So just don't pull the trigger. You don't wanna pull the trigger, Goob. And then I've got my hot dogs over here. You dry them out so that the batter sticks to the hot dog. And then I save oil that I do this um, for this, and I just save them in jars. So I've got the oil in here. We're just getting that heated up. Okay, we just learned a new trick. From TikTok. We roll it, no I didn't, it's from the recipe, you boo. I'll make fun of me. You roll the hot dog in a little bit of flour, kind of tap it off. That way the batter will stick to the hot dog a little bit better. So Jason got my little decorative tray from my 4th of July celebration stuff. And we're just gonna line it with some paper towels for them to kind of soak up some of the oils. We're all lined up and ready. We're just waiting for the oil to heat up. We need to get it to 350. Oh, we're already at three. Okay, so you get your skewer sticks all put on. Come roll them in the flour, Ash. And then I think we'll be ready to go. Anyone else the last one to get in the car and you're the mom and everyone's like, mom, how come you're not coming? How come you're the last one here? And then you go to get in the car. Hey mom, where's the keys? Hey mom, where's my sunglasses? Hey mom, where's my sweatshirt? That's why mom's the last one in the car. I'm betting give you want a water bottle. So I'm gonna get that for her.
You went and swam, right? Right? Yeah. She's trying to get warmed up with an ice cream cone. That's or an icy. Um, it's not an icy. But we're all chatting with our friend, our friends, family. They all are all here. And uh, Jacob has challenged me some to some cornhole. And uh, game accepted or challenge accepted. And we're gonna have my team be the Seahawks. And he's the. I'm sorry, Jacob. What was your team again? What was your team again? <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Very fitting. That's my board. That's my board right there. Heaven, I just want to make you repeat it and repeat it again. Yeah, you make the sky so blue. No, nothing's complicated. All right, we're running out of battery on this camera. We just played down at the lake for a little while. She's cold. We're in my sweatshirt. And uh, Chelsea's inside changing. Her, our friend's whole family is all coming back from the lake and we're kind of getting all our gear. Gonna get ready to go down to another park and set up for the fireworks. I might have to film that on my phone because I forgot more batteries. So we'll see how much I can get with this camera and hopefully you don't notice a terrible difference going to my phone. So see you at the okay. fireworks. We have enough battery to tell you we are at Remlinger Farm to watch the fireworks. Kaylee and Jacob right back there. Dad is ahead of us with Chelsea and Abby. Nope. And this is probably gonna die soon, but we're gonna see the fireworks. So, kind of fun.
I'm going nuts with allergies tonight. We've learned that we need to add allergy pills, ibuprofen, because we've run out, um, bug spray, and what else? To our little beach bag, activity bag, summer bag. Um, but just wanted to like mention one little funny thing that happened right when the fireworks were starting. Everyone at the park was all faced toward the stage or faced one direction at the park. And you know, we're all just waiting for the fireworks. The band said, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna begin now, you know, whatever, enjoy the show. And then boom, 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 everything started going off behind us. And we're all like, where is the fireworks? Where are they coming from? It was behind everyone. Like we were all faced the wrong direction. <laughs> so we were like, everyone had to like pick up their chairs and pick up their blankets and kids that were all nestled in with their, you know, parents, uh, everyone had to pick up and move. And there was like a huge tree blocking all the fireworks. So everyone had to shift down the park and turn around and <laughs> it was kind of mayhem. And the fireworks were still going. They just were doing the show. But, um, and then what happened at the end? Oh, the traffic, yeah. It got out probably a half hour, well, probably 45 minutes ago, and it took us a half hour to just start moving our car. So it was a little nuts um, trying to get out of there, but luckily they all live out there, so we didn't have any traffic coming the long way home. Um, so we're gonna end our night, we're all very tired. We're all gonna sleep in except for him, so he gets first dibs on the shower after Ashley, because she's having an allergy attack, but, um, Whatever it is, she needs to hop in the shower. We're gonna say goodnight to you. Happy 4th of July and uh, take care. Hopefully you guys had a good time. Do you guys stick around for fireworks or do you get out of town? I know some of you have said that you've, got, you've gotten out of town today um, just to kind of get away from all the craziness. I don't blame you. So take care and we'll see you guys next time. the magic places in the world I've been to. This is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.